Our soon investigators say last night's fire in downtown Asheville is suspicious. It was likely not an accident. The blaze on Banks Avenue gutted an abandoned commercial building in the city's up and coming South Slope neighborhood. We have live team coverage of both the investigation and the dangers facing firefighters who responded to the old building. Let's begin with News 13's Frank Crocker. How did they make their determination, Frank? Well, it was an initial finding, not based on any evidence found here. It's all about what was not found here. Forty firefighters responded to 39 Banks Avenue, a two-story commercial building they say had been abandoned and boarded up for years. They found flames shooting from the back of the structure, smoke showing everywhere, and attacked the fire with water from the outside. The reason for saying it was likely not an accident is quite simple. Suspicious in nature, there was no electrical fault, there's no gas fault, and so, uh, yeah, you do have to question what started the fire. Last night's South Slope blaze is just the latest in a string of abandoned commercial building fires in recent years, primarily in the River District. Those have been ruled arsons, but officials say it's too early to jump to any conclusions. All of those are still under investigation. We don't know if somebody's malicious and setting fires. There isn't a big red flag in our department saying that we need to be um, you know, overly concerned that this is, this is something going on a rampage. Vortex Donuts is one of the South Slope's newest businesses, still under construction right across the street from a fire. We've seen some people come and go out of that building over the last few months. Folks here know about the homeless encampment sometimes set up out back of 39 banks, where a makeshift memorial marks the spot two people were found dead in winter of 2012, likely the victims of exposure to cold weather. Vortex owners hope the work that they're doing might help lead investigators to whoever set this latest fire. We have security cameras here um, that look up and down the street. Um, the arson investigators have asked us for the footage for that. And at last check, those arson investigators still waiting for clearance from the property owner to try to be able to get back inside this building. And once they are able to accomplish that, they're going to have to be awfully careful because this building is structurally unsound and it is dangerous. Reporting live in Asheville, Frank Crocker, News 13.